Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vishyanand and Francisco Valeo Pons. This is a game from Bilbao Masters Tournament played in 2014. Vishyanand had white pieces and he started with d4. Francisco Valeo Pons played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit accepted. e4, Knight to c6, Knight to f3, Bishop to g4, pinning the Knight d5, knight to e5, bishop to f4, black to move, knight to g6 was played. If knight takes on f3 check, g takes on f3, and after bishop to d7, bishop takes on c4, and white is better. Back to our game. Knight to g6, attacking the bishop, bishop to e3, e5, bishop takes on c4, Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight to c3, defending a6, perhaps intending b5. Also preventing bishop to b5 check by white. Bishop to e2. Bishop to d6. White to move. Perhaps castling comes to mind. Vishanan played knight to d2. With the idea to exchange his bad bishop. Bishop takes on e2, queen takes on e2, and both players cast at king's side. Queen to e7, developing the queen and connecting rooks. Rook from f to d1, placing the rook on the file, which will open, because black may challenge white center with c6. Rook from a to c8, g3, controlling h4 and f4 square and at the same time creating weaknesses on light squares around his king, but those weaknesses can be exploited. h6, rook from a to c1, c6, knight to c4, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, knight takes on d5, rook takes on d5, attacking the bishop, bishop to c5, rook from c to d1, Bishop takes on e3. How would you recapture? With the queen or with the knight? Vishenand captured with the knight. And the knight is going to a gc f5 square. Queen to b4, knight to f5. White knight is extremely well placed on f5. Rook to c4. Attacking the pawn on e4. How to defend? Perhaps f3 comes to mind, but also perhaps these moves should be avoided. Knight to d6, defending and attacking. Rook to c6, attacking the queen. Queen to b3, if queen goes to b6, b4. So we have a queen to b3, rook from 5 to d3, queen to b6, knight goes back to f5, rook to e8, why to move? What is the best move for white in this position? If you have a chance to invade the seventh rank, why not? Rook to d7, attacking the pawn on f7. Rook to f6, defending the pawn, but the rook on f6 is a bit passive, isn't it? Queen to g4, eyeing the pawn on g7. Queen to c6, White pieces are more active, but how to make something of it? How to improve the position? How to attack? What would you do? Vishanan played the obvious. h4, intending h5, and if the knight moves, queen takes on g7 check mate. h5, trading the h pawn for the e pawn. Queen takes on h5. Queen takes on e4. Rook to d8. Black to move. If rook to e6, then knight to d6 is winning. For example, if rook takes rook, knight takes queen, and after check, queen takes on d1. Back to our game. Queen to c6 was played. Queen to g5. And again, h5 is a threat. Queen to e6, threatening queen takes knight on f5. How to defend the knight? 
What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? White played the move and black resigned and the move is Rook from 1 to d6 Pawns resigned in view of discontinuation Queen takes knight Rook takes rook check And now the knight to f8 Queen takes queen Rook takes queen Rook from d to d8 Winning the knight and the game And what else? Let's go back After queen takes on f5 and rook takes rook check if king goes to h7 then rook takes on f6 and after queen takes on g5 h takes on g5 g takes on f6 g takes on f6 and white is easily winning in the end game one line goes like this king to h6 and then comes the fancy rook to e7 daring black to take the rook if knight defense very important, pawn on f7, rook takes on b7, and you get the picture. That was a very nicely played game by Vichy Anand. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.